So here we have a Digi Home 37723HD Digital. Um, 37 inch HD ready. Uh, Vestel based TV. Uh, and being Vestel, the world quality is just, you know, crap. Um, I've serviced a lot of Vestel TVs and they always have this crappy little power supply that goes and I've replaced about five of these power supplies but on this instance it looks like it's not a power supply fault which is rare anyway um... if it's uh... On. Oh. one thing I forgot turn on the power to the shed okay uh, and you have a standby light Press the power button, and it takes you know, a few seconds to boot up. Okay, and a little flash. I don't know if the camera caught it, but anyway, basically a tiny little flash from the screen, and then nothing. Now, uh, a flash tells me that the backlight fires on it doesn't stay on, which means either the backlight detects a problem or the power supply is incapable of supplying the backlight. Now, on this set, so you basically find a ground point, which is almost always the frame, and you test it, so I'll plug it back in and turn it on. Now, if it's a power supply problem, the 24 volt line that supplies the power will drop out, but as we can see, it's reasonably stable. It's it's not dropping out or sagging. So that leads us more on to the inverter. Now there was a shield on this. I've taken this off, and the most common failure on these inverters is the transformers, especially these Darfon based inverters. So what you'd need to do is you need to test the secondary resistance. Now the secondary is the side connected to the bulb. So you've got uh, individual bulb connectors along here. I think these uh, drive two bulbs each. So you've got uh, seven, seven, sorry, I can't count, eight transformers driving two bulbs, so 16 bulbs in the panel in total. And each of these is powered by a secondary wind. You've got a primary on the wind nick here. And that should measure about zero ohms, and the secondary should measure the same for all the transformers because the secondary resistance is used to balance the current for the bulbs to make sure it's equal, otherwise, you get different uh, varying brightness across the screen. Um, and what I found is that, let's try and get you that meter shot. So, put the meter down here. Um, awkward to test, not a tripod, but what I found is when you really test the secondary, I'll just read it out, uh, test the secondary resistance, which is there, I've got the other one, and well, I know that I've tested it already, that's 5.1k uh, ohm, and then you test this one, and that's actually like 20k ohm, and this one measures 5.1 and the others all measure 5.1 so that's our failed transformer I suspect um, and what the backlight inverter will do is it will power the whole screen up but then it detects a mismatch in the current flowing through the bulb so if it does detect that then it will shut down so you'll get a brief flash from the screen but nothing else and these transformers are fairly cheap this one's £6.50 on eBay, they're all the same part. You just match the first, for these Darfon boards, it's 6008, so you've got to match the first four digits to 6008. The other digits aren't important. They're all compatible with each other. The other alternative you've got is just to replace the entire board, of course. And, you know, sometimes it can turn out uh, cheaper or easier. Although the transformers are quite big and they're not too difficult to remove. I'll do a video on how to do that. Anyway. It's what you get for. I think this was a £500 TV originally. It's really crap. I mean, to be honest, I'd rather pay £510 for them to put some decent components in it, but obviously that uh, isn't going to happen, is it? Because, oh, it's just 
looks really, really badly designed. It's obviously, in a lot of cases, it looks like they've bodged it together. Um, there's a lot of glue around these connectors, so they're really difficult to remove. Um, the main board is such a mishmash of different components. You've got this PAL chip, which looks like it was hand-soldered afterwards. And uh, it's got HDMI, one HDMI port, and that's the only part that she, the layout looks reasonably sensible. The rest of the board just looks crazy. And there's, you know, a space for another tuner here, and this a separate board just to give it an earth connection because the power supply doesn't support an earth connection. That's strange. And it's a board just for the Freeview digital TV. And then there's an audio board, a separate board just for the audio. I suppose in a way it's a good thing because it makes it modular and you can just replace the board if it goes wrong. And the actual LCD panels are Chungwa picture tubes now. Uh, Chungwa picture tubes, uh, Chungwa panels, they are probably among the worst in my opinion. Um, I've seen quite a few of them with uh, dark streaks and patches on the screen. Um, it's just manufacturing defect after a few years, the panel ages, it gets hotter. Something to something to do with the backlight. Um, you can see how hot the backlight's got because as you browned there, around there, if you look at the uh, case. Uh, look at that, really significant browning due to the heat. You can actually see where the air has flowed for it. And now I think this goes on like that. Is it like that? No, no, it's the other way around, actually. It's like that. Um, that's how the cover fits on. And the most, the worst browning is at the top. So I suppose, in a way, it's not surprising that one of the top transformers has failed, because obviously that area gets the hottest. It's all the other... And the heat flows upwards, so the top of the set is the hottest. And um, I'm not sure what the failure mode is. I mean, it's due to winding arcing in some way. I'm not sure if heat accelerates it. Maybe it degrades the glue or something. Or the varnish. I can't be certain. But anyway, it should be interesting to repair. So she got Pioneer speakers. I've seen that one other vest out before. Very strange. And they have Pioneer logos just stuck on there. I wonder if they just Pioneer just um, stick their name on there for a couple extra cents. It doesn't. You know, it looks rather strange to me.